Keeping up with that breaking news when it comes to Texas quarterback Deshaun Watson will not face criminal charges over accusations ranging from sexual assault to sexual harassment. The grand jury determined that today that there was not enough evidence in the accusations to criminally charge Watson. The Texas quarterback set out all of last season while working through the court system. Watson is still facing 22 lawsuits in civil court over his alleged actions there. Of course, the Harris County released a statement saying this after a Harris County grand jury was presented all the evidence and had the opportunity to hear from all the witnesses. Grand jurors declined to indict Deshaun Watson. All right, for more of this, NFL insider Josina Anderson and Josina, your reaction to this news today with Watson. Well, it makes me recall the conversation that I had with Deshaun Watson's agent, David Mulligetta. Uh, actually, February 17th, I was just pulling up that tweet that I had put out when there were reports that the uh, that his client, Deshaun Watson, was eyeing the Bucks and the Vikings at the time. And his quote to me then was, we haven't had any talks among ourselves or with teams about possible destinations as we are focused on clearing Deshaun Watson's name at this time. And certainly the grand jury in Harris County, Texas, coming back with nine no bills uh, in conjunction with uh, the nine accusations, certainly providing a path uh, for that to, you know, be the case to a degree today, as we know, there are uh, still civil litigations that are, are out there, but certainly it provides uh, some aspect of clarity for teams that are interested. And with us being on the horizon of the legal tampering period, March 14th, and then the advent of the new league year on the 16th, uh, certainly we could see that information, um, you know, percolating his market. For Watson, of course, this is just one hurdle. I did mention the 22 civil cases here that he still has to deal with. Outside of that, what is next for him? Because you talked about his representation and also the tampering window. What's next for him moving forward to maybe acquiring a trade here? Well, we'll have to see, you know, what the dialogue is with regards to Watson's camp and teams and first and foremost discerning if having no criminal charges is enough. Um, it would be fair to speculate that that could be enough for some teams, but, you know, just in terms of verifying that to see. Um, but it's interesting because, you know, it just came back from the Indianapolis uh, scouting combine there uh, that the NFL has annually and was talking to sources in regards to the Watson case. And if you recall, uh, prior to um, you know, the trade deadline, one of the things that I was reporting is that the Texans were looking for uh, six assets uh, in exchange for Deshaun Watson, that being three first rounds and uh, maybe three additional doesn't have to be, uh, you know, draft picks, but could be a combination of personnel as well. And one of the things that I was hearing down in Indianapolis is a potential that there could be a softening of that six asset request. So that certainly could help in facilitating uh, a trade. My understanding as of right now, just with talking to certain teams and not expecting as of this moment, as we know, these things can be fluid, but just as I kind of, you know, going on my phone for the Jets not to be in there, but we'll see if we hear anything uh, from the Panthers and following up, as you know, before the trade deadline, they pulled themselves out. Uh, we've heard the reports that there uh, could be interest uh, now, particularly with this decision. I uh, would not be surprised to hear uh, conversations taking place between Seattle and or Deshaun Watson or some of these other teams that we were naming prior to uh, his agent indicating to me that they wanted to concentrate on getting his name cleared first. Now, prior to this decision coming out, one of the things that you were also hearing uh, was that there was not a desire to settle. Um, so I, I don't think that that has changed with regards to the, the civil cases. And we will see between the criminal result today and the pending civil cases, like I said, if that's enough for the teams that I'm expecting as of right now, we're continuing to verify that which ones will definitively pursue Deshaun Watson. Let's look at the angle from the Texans. If you're Nick Casarius, of course, you've been trying to work a deal since last year, and this maybe opened the door to do that after what he heard today. If you're the Houston Texans and you look at the contract, you're looking also at assets you can acquire. What's their next steps to make a move here? 
Well, is to, you know, try to get it done. I mean, for all intents and purposes, Deshaun Watson has made it clear that he does not want to return to Houston. I mean, there was not a time where he stepped out on the field last year and practiced for the Texans while they continued to pay him millions of dollars. And I do not uh, expect that to change. So what is incumbent upon the Houston Texans right now is facilitating a deal that they feel is substantive enough in exchange for Deshaun Watson that hopefully uh, helps them continue their rebuilding process and also for Deshaun waiving that no trade clause to a team that he feels is suitable for his growth uh, moving forward as well. So it's just about, um, you know, getting in connection with those teams and figuring out that compensation package, you know, that works for all parties. We'll see how that pans out. Josina Anderson with the breaking news there. The grand jury deciding not to criminally charge Deshaun Watson. Another chapter with QB1 there in the Texans. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.